What's up guys? I got a request to go over stretching and Bitwig and we're going to do that right now. So what do you have to do? Well, you drop in, say, a loop or whatnot, and uh, you'll double click on it, and then you have your edit uh, window here. So this would be the top part would be your clip, right? And you create these by double clicking, and there are these little tiny clips here. Uh, when you drop in a loop, you'll notice that there's an apparatus in the middle here and this is your audio event and this is what you will be warping basically so uh, there's a few modes here well to stretch and stretch HD uh, is what we'll be dealing with today raw is just raw audio there'd be no stretching whatsoever and repitch is there's no uh, pitch like preservation as you speed it up it'll speed up just like speeding up a turntable and uh, that's always useful as well. So we have two uh, things to look at here. If you're on sets, and you click on on set down here, and you have these little tiny things. So think of these as kind of sort of transient detection things. And you, uh, you affix them at the top here. And you can double click and move them around. And what these do is these detect transients and the important stuff in your audio. So when you're warping, you still get uh, that preservation of your transients. So we can kind of just move that around. And these onsets are pretty good to preserve. And usually, usually it'll detect them pretty well. And yeah, we'll just leave it like that. All right, that's cool. All right, so that's your onsets. When you come down here and you click stretch, you'll notice, all right, onsets are up here still. Uh, but there's these little markers down here. So down here at the bottom, there's the stretching markers, and up top, there's the onset markers. And usually as you mouse over, they will work together kind of thing. Uh, and you can stretch via the onset or anywhere else you want. You can stretch it via fixed grid at this option down here. And it's as simple as just clicking and moving things about. And you can stretch it like crazy and all that but this is a loop and it it's at 128 we know it's at 128 it says so right there and we can you know it just does it automatically we don't really need to worry so we're going to be taking a look at this guy so this is a sweep and we'll have a stretch here we will go raw so raw is just raw basically uh, we can make the audio event longer if if it does this loopy thing like that, you just turn off your loop. And oh, dragging at the top stretches the uh, the clip. Dragging at the bottom loops it. Really interesting, but sometimes it messes you up. All right, so we have that. So let's uh, take this, and it's at raw. So raw, you can't really do anything. It's raw audio. And this is useful if you want an absolutely like transparent file transfer of audio editing. And this works pretty well. Uh, stretch and stretch HD. That's good for vocals and musical stuff. Repitch. This is what I'm interested in. Uh, so I'll go repitch. And I'll stretch this out. Bam. Right? So we've effectively made this longer. A very intense kind of rising yeast thing. Uh, if we have Stretch HD, it will preserve the pitch. Like how you would expect, but this is like 200% stretched. One thing I forgot is the onsets. You can, you can preview the onsets by clicking on this little speaker here. Just remember this. So if we have our onsets here, we can click on this to preview it. And we can hear what it's preserving right the human ear some about the audio I'm not gonna pretend like I know what's going on but you'll hear the transients better if you preserve the transients better you can get away with a lot more kind of warping or your onsets onsets are transient onsets and transients are different but that's a whole other video all right we have that so this is you know warping or not warping oops stretching a uh, piece of audio and you stretch it by making the actual clip longer 
So it's clips and then there's audio events, and they're all kind of self-contained. Think of these clips, and you create them again by double-clicking up at the top here, and you can move them around. And they're just like mini sequencers, and they're jolly good, as my friends over on the other side of the pond would say. So, uh, yeah, let's do something a bit more practical. We have an instrumental here from a guy that not a lot of people have heard of. Uh, and we'll just play that now. Right, I just dropped that in, and that's kind of what it did there. So I'm going to bring the tempo up or down. Right, that's about where I it, it is kind of supposed to be. Uh, I'm just slowing it down just so we can work with it a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click here and this would be you know the start of the kick right, maybe not so much there maybe just for good measure we'll do that and you can just double click and get rid of those and we'll bring it back to the start of the clip and what i'll do is i will do this <laughs> Hello, content ID. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, i got to say what I'm going to do. I'm just going to find out where that ends. So it ends right there. All right, so that's basically our event length that we want. And I'm going to... I'm going to stretch it. So I know I want to move that around here. So I'm going to grab the end guy here. This is the absolute end of our loop here. And I'm going to stretch this to about there. I'm going to turn on our metronome. All right. It's preserving our uh, onsets. I can turn that on or off. I'm going to repitch it so I can hear exactly what's going on. Actually, I'll move that over. Let's see what's going on here. Bleh. And let's see. And we'll loop that. All right, we have basically a perfect loop there. And what we can do once we're in that, sometimes it plays it, you know, if you're taking it from a vinyl or you stretch it kind of weird, it's less than ideal. So you can just go to the beginning of each bar here by selecting one, 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 one. And we will go to here and we'll just pick that and we can set it so it's a bit more proper. And usually, yeah, the onset detection is very accurate. It's actually very impressive. Oh, not there. Oh, yeah, why not? All right. Oops. All right, you can get some really intense warping or stretching. <laughs> you can get some really intense stretching. Right. And then once we're there, we can verify that it's indeed, you know, a perfect kind of loopy loop here. We will go stretch or stretch HD. Right. And uh, yeah, that is basic stretching in Bitwig. So again, you have your onsets on top and your stretch markers on the bottom and you select your onsets here. It detects them usually. You can move them around. You can double click to delete. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, and get some high quality warping going on and then you can stretch it basically to the max every which way and uh, it works out quite well and yeah there's just the four modes you got to worry about uh, raw stretch stretch hd and repitch and they're all different kind of transpositional raw is absolutely raw like you're just playing the, the file nothing's really happening uh, Repitch pitches it up or down depending on the speed, like a vinyl and stretch. 
you know, preserves the pitch and stretch HD is more for uh, complex audio, like, uh, like say this instrumental or maybe like vocals. Stretch is good for you know tonal material. All right, I've rambled on enough. Uh, hope you learned stuff and uh, have a good one. Take care.